vintage sewing box converted to a pen and ink keeper. This is a vintage sewing box that reminds me of one that I grew up with that belonged to my mother. I bought it at a flea market a few years ago and now I want to convert it to keep my pen and inks. Hi, today I'm going to do just a tiny bit of reorganizing on my desk. I am not a big um, fountain pen nib user type thing. I have this small box where I keep my inks, my smaller ink jars, and a pen holder, and some of the pinpoints that I have. And uh, I like this box. I, I probably got it at Goodwill someplace, but it's a nice slender box. But I bought two more bottles of ink last week, and I have these bottles of ink that will not fit in here. And I'm kind of reorganizing everything, and I'm going, well, I like this, but it's just like everything else. It's too small <laughs> to hold everything. So I have this, which is been sitting empty, well almost empty, on my shelf. And this is a vintage sewing box. It's a cloth covered one. It looks almost exactly like the one my mother had when I was growing up. Uh, that one I can tell you for sure that it it is that my mother's has been used beyond repair and in fact I still have it but uh, it's been disassembled and I just have pieces of it and I have everything that was in it. There, there are some things in here that I put in here. A piece of linen that I'll use on a swap here. Some very nice thread gatherer. Two pieces. <laughs> I probably looked all over for them. Um, silk ribbons. I'll use those for something. Here's Here's a very nice pair of ginger scissors that I only use for embroidery. And in fact, one of my needlework friends gave me two charms that has my name, Mary, and then it has I Heart XX, XS, which stands for cross stitch. So, not wanting to break the charms, I put them away in my sewing box. And I have some beads. So I need to find a new place for these little sewing items, which I certainly have. Some chronic blending filament, needles, needles, needle case, needles, needles, gold needles, little beads. All of these can find a new home. Here are some charms. Oh, I didn't even, I forgot all uh, that I had these. One of these is a thimble. Better lock that up. Oh, see, this is why I locked it up because there's some more charms that obviously fell out. Some more linen pieces, more needles. I'm just kind of clearing this out. Here's a couple more charms. I need to put those in that little plastic bag. I'll do that later. And then this, as I lifted it up, this is a little needle pin holder, needle holder, pin cushion. But I noticed that when I bought this, ooh, look, this is old. Whew. It's obviously been homemade because it's been cut to keep that foam from falling out. But I bought this on sale a couple years ago for $5. And I bought it because it reminded me so much of, of my mother's when I saw it. Of course, you know, you always buy things that remind you of things when you grew up. But, I am going to convert this from a sewing box, which I hardly use, to a place to store my pen and inks that I hardly use, or that I use every now and then. Because, look, they, they will fit right in here. I've got all different colors here. I'm going to start using these more in my art journaling, and I want a place for them. Oh, look, I need to go to the store and buy two more. I'm going to have to make a list of the colors I have. And then my 
my pen can fit there, and then I have a little Altoid box, not out with me, but I'll get a little Altoid box to put these in. So, and I need to figure out a way to close this so that it won't fly open and everything fall out, but that would do the same no matter what I put in there. But I'm thinking that I can get a piece of Velcro and put on this little tab. This little tab is not long enough. If I put a little piece of Velcro there, that'll hold it shut. It looks like it's thin. But then I have this bottom drawer, and I was looking at how I could put this ink. Well, the ink is, it models too tall with the little, and I like these little nibs. But I was playing around with doing those Dilusions ink sprays, and I had these two strips that I trimmed off. And in fact, I probably I've got score tape on them. I could probably just put them together like that. But I'm going to put them in here just to hold the neck of those bottles. And I can put them down here if they're in nice and closed tight, which I should be making sure that they are anyway. So, and this is Liquitex acrylic ink probably bought it on sale, in fact I did, at Hobby Lobby, a $7 bottle for $2.37 because that's another thing I want to try more of is the acrylic inks and these two really don't fit too well, I need another strip, but I'm just going to put them in here for now and that will hold my inks so now I have another box to put my pens and one of the ladies in one of our art groups was saying how she always lost her nicer pens well she's the one who gave me nice pens myself I'm having trouble keeping track of them because they tend to get mixed up with all my other pens there's one of them one I keep over by where I usually write, but I'm going to start putting my nicer pens. I won't, I'm not going to put my markers, but my my nicer pens in here, and I'll do that offline. So I just wanted to show you how I'm going to put some Velcro there, how I am going to utilize my vintage sewing box for my pens and inks be nice to put a picture in there, wouldn't it? A nice ink-drawn picture. I don't know if I'd want to collage it down, but I could certainly put something in there. Woohoo! That's it. Just wanted to show it off. See you in the next segment.